You guys remember that piece of conglomerate that I found? Of course, the rock that went rolling down the hill has the target. Let's go get it. It looks like it was covered in conglomerate, which is a good thing. Wow, that thing is screaming. Here. See, this makes noise. Right around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah, makes a lot cool. of noise. <laughs> Look at the colors on that. Stuff. Got it back home. So I've had it sitting in acid for like a day, um, but kind of got it pinpointed to where the noise is. So check this out. So breaking out the old trusty pinpointer. Turn this thing on. And right here. Right there. It's not going off anywhere else. It sounded like it was just a single target, but I'm getting a little bit of a reading from this side. And then dead on, it's making a lot of noise. So, what I'm trying to do is soak this thing in acid and uh, I wanna slowly eat it away. Hopefully just leaving the piece of gold hanging out because this would be kind of a cool uh, like display piece, I think. But so far, I don't see anything that's uh, gold hanging out of here yet. It's down like underneath this thing right here. So I'm going to keep scrubbing on it and see what I can turn up. Okay, we've had it soaking for a bit longer in the acid. And it's starting to show up. You see it right there? It's not real big yet, but right there. You see it showing up in a couple different spots. So, I don't know how big it's gonna be. Yeah, there we go. I'd like to just eat away this top little bit that's there and uh, leave it stuck in there and just make a little showpiece or something, but we'll see. Interesting little mix of stuff. with gold it's been soaking and look at that it's not too bad of a I, I think it's one piece it might be like three pieces so i don't know what do you guys think okay so we've got a rock here's how we're doing the acid right so that is our piece of gold I don't want to soak the whole thing, so I've got just a little tiny bit in the bottom here. And the idea is only piece with the gold, or the section with the gold is sitting in the um, acid. Here is our acid, by the way. Good stuff. So you probably thought I forgot about those other two small rocks making noise, but I haven't. They're sitting in here. They're soaking in acid. This stuff starts out pretty clear and then it gets more and more milky. So I'm just gonna try and dissolve the entire thing 
and uh, see if maybe uh, I can get a couple pieces of gold to show up there at the end. All right, I'm gonna call it. It's not too bad looking. Ended up being a better piece than uh, I was a little bit worried there for a minute. I was thinking it was gonna be like tiny or a couple different pieces, but that's a pretty looking little showpiece. A lot going on with it. A lot of different kind of rock in there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. That'll, go, that'll look good on the shelf. Uh, so these have been in acid for a couple of days now. Um, you can see like some of the uh, rocks on the inside are starting to show up. So I'm just going to keep doing this and uh, see how long it takes, but I'm going to try and eat away until I see some gold. So I'll report back in when I've got something to show you guys. So you remember those two small pieces of uh, conglomerate that I found that were sounding off? If not, I'll play a little clip for you. <laughs> it sounds like it. Let's turn the volume back on. Something in there. It seems like we've got a piece of channel here. It looks like channel, it's making noise. So we'll uh, take it home with us and try and soak it in acid. Well, after a couple weeks and like $30 in acid, they've been soaking and uh, let's take a look. Now, unless you guys are seeing something that I don't, uh, there's no gold in there. Now, the type of acid I'm using would not dissolve gold. So that means that there probably was none in those two pieces, and it was just uh, highly mineralized and making a little noise. See? No gold. So, yeah, you know, bummer. I kind of wasted a little bit of money on acid. Well, it's not a big deal. Maybe there was gold in there. Who knows? Right? There's only one way to find out, so... Uh, but we did find gold in that big piece. So I think that was worth it by itself. I love it. It's gorgeous looking. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. And it's going to sit on the shelf just like that. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. If you haven't, check out the Patreon link below. Join the Nuggets here if you want to win some of the gold that you're seeing on this channel. We give some of it away every single month. Uh, the Swag Shop, a lot of good stuff in there. Check that out, 530goldmining.com. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can with another video. Until then, good luck out in the hills.